Now there were standing by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister Mary Cleopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and his disciple standing by whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. What example can I show you for your comfort? Virgin daughter, son, who you to dress, who can heal you. Let us pray. O blessed Lord, at your passion, a sword of sorrow, pierce the loving heart of your mother, as Simeon had foretold. Grant that we who look back for her sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your suffering. Amen. Amen. Simon, 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 Yo we rise and we praise because for the Holy Cross redeemed the world. But oh, when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him, and they led him to the, be crucified. Then they forced the certain passerby, Simon the Cyrene, coming from the country, to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, meaning a meaning the place of the skull. sufferings and shortcomings of our lives to share in your cross, strengthening the soul of us in the belief that we bear all things in union with you, who have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Because for your holy Christ, you redeemed the world. Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger, and take you in, or naked, and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick, or in prison, and come to, come to you? And answering the king will say to them, Amen, I say to you, as long as you did it for one of these, the least of my brethren, you did it for me. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living, loving God, we feel your love and understanding in the consolation and support we receive from one another. Give us, we beg you, the courage and dedication to sacrifice and suffer with those who are in need, the least of your people. Amen. Amen. Because for your holy Christ, you redeemed the world. It was our weaknesses that he carried, our sufferings that he endured. 
while we thought of him as stricken, as one struck by, by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the punishment that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of, of us all. Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our guilt. Grant us the favor of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all we do, your strength dwelling in us may be shown to all others. Amen. 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 Because for you, Holy Christ, you redeemed the world. There were, was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were be, bewailing and lamenting him. Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Come, all you who pass by the way, look and see whether there is any suffering like my suffering. Suffering with which the Lord has afflicted me on the day of his blessing for us. At this point, my eyes run with tears. Far from me are all who could console me. Far away are any who might divide me. Let us pray. Beloved Jesus, with tears of pity, these women of Jerusalem responded to you, broken, bruised, and beaten on the road to Calvary. Deepen our faith, we beg you, so that we may see you in our brothers and sisters, bruised by our envy, beaten down by injustice, and broken by our greed and our indifference. Amen. 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 Prostrate in the dust, give me life according to your word. I declare my ways, and you answer me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for her sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. The Lord, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life and refuge. Of whom shall I be afraid? We need when you must come upon me and devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies and stumble and fall. Though an army can't be against me, my heart will not fear. For a world will be upon me, even then I will be afraid. Let us pray, Almighty and Eternal God, you permitted your Son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned, so that he might rise from the dead freed from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of our glorious resurrection in union with your Son. Amen. Amen. and we praise you. Because for the Holy Christ, you redeemed the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then after they had crucified him, 
they divided his clothes, casting lots to fulfill what was written through the, through the prophet. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, <coughs> you stood exposed to the jeers and, and contempt of the people whom you love. Clothe us with genuine love of others so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. Come in. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy Christ we have redeemed the world. When they came to Golgotha, the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my prayer, far from my words of my cry, O oh my God. I cry out by day, and your answer no. I cry out by night, and there is no relief for me. All my bones are racked. My heart has become like wax melting away with my chest. My throat is dried up like baked clay. My tongue collapses to my jaws. They had put my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Let us pray, Lord and Savior. You have told us that we too must accept crucifixion if we are to accept resurrection with you. Help us to rejoice in the sufferings that come with the fulfillment of our daily duties, seeing in them the royal road of the cross to, to the resurrection. Amen. Amen. La eternal day, the Lord his head. What get to free us, what get the hill of Calvary. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look up and gloat over me. Because by your holy cry you have redeemed the world. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Then bowing his head, he died. My people, what have I done to you, or in what I have offended you? Answer me. What more should I have done and did not do? I laid you out of the land of Egypt, and you prepared a cross for me. I opened the Red Sea before you, and you opened my side with the lands. I gave you a royal sceptre, and you have given me a crowd of thrones. With great power, I lifted you up, and you have hung me upon a cross. My people, what I have done to you, or in what I have offended you, answer me from the reproaches of God. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be dominated as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For yours is the kingdom, yours is the power and the glory forever. Amen. Station. 
Christian, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so they did not break his legs. But one of them opened his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take the body, uh, take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him permission. O oh my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them, and I will bring you back to your land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, O oh my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live. You shall know then that I am the Lord. I have promised it, and I will do it, says the Lord. Let us pray. Beloved Savior, you return to the Father all that he had given you so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that like you we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Lord, you give us in three days you resurrect you did first what we shall do. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have the redeemed the war. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hone out of rock. Then he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. I will praise you, O Lord. And we write. I did not let my enemy rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the lower world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and gave thanks to his holy name, for his anger last. But a moment, his good will is for a lifetime. At nightfall, weapon enter in, but with down comes rejoicing. Let us pray, Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness when all seemed lost, you restored to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so to empty ourselves of self concern that we might see your hand in every failure and your victory in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus rise and be our lover in your food and in our brother. Let us home to heaven with you. The resurrection of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you redeemed the world. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought bought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus very early on the first day of the week. When the sun had just risen, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll the stone back from the entrance of the tomb for us? For it was very large. But looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back, and upon entering the tomb, they were amazed to see a young man sitting at the right hand and clothed in a white robe. He said to them, Do not be terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. I believe, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended to the hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is sitting at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of the sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. Thank you to you so much, brother. God bless all of you for accompanying us.